60-second delay in Jessica Carter trying to post up over on that right block. Charlie, I was just about to say, so far, State along that front line, they're moving well without the basketball. That time, Jessica Carter camped out just a little too long down in the low post. Yeah, trying to set up a high-low option that time with Cooks at the top. Well, no doubt travel right there. John J. Thomas, senior from Thibodeau. Moved her pivot foot, moved their other foot too. Before she put it on the floor. Rims out, there's Cook. She'll stick it back and score. So you bring Carter out high to the free throw line and very athletic put back by Sydney Cooks. State has a 9-4 lead. Four points for Sydney Cooks. Step back three off the back iron as Mia Deck went too strong. Rakia Jackson diving through and off the glass. And now a timeout taken by New Orleans. Mississippi State on a little run here. An 8-0 run by the Bulldogs. And a seven-point lead for State midway point of the first quarter. Now, Nikki McCray, phenomenal athlete, part of the 1995 National Championship team, two-time Kodak All-American, won a couple of gold medals for Team USA. There you see her and her coach, Pat Summit. Went on and had a great career in the WNBA. Began her coaching career and I'll tell you what, one of the hot coaches coming up at Four NCAA tournament appearances, three-time WNBA All-Star, two-time SEC Player of the Year. One of the big names in women's college basketball under the Pat Summit at Tennessee. And Charlie, as good as she was as a player, if you ask people around the coaching profession in women's college basketball, they say, hey, she may be a better coach than she was a player. Everything you hear is that her ability to connect with her players, have them understand her system, it gets them to play hard. Really good job by John Cohen going out and when he had a coaching vacancy, going out and hiring one of the top people in the country. Well, you start looking back at what was the staple of Pat Summit teams, that strong, defense they got after you and that's kind of what she preaches she wants this team to really get after teams defensively now here's the thing she only has 11 players on the roster right now she's trying to get that roster size built up she says hey we're not pressing nowhere near what i would like to but she's primarily out of the man to man but nikki mccray pinson strong believer in Defense leading to offense. And Charlie, it's amazing when you look around the country and the prominent programs in women's college basketball, so much of the offense starts on the defensive end. There's Aaron Randall, nice job stepping out. Yeah, particularly a team like this, it's built to play in transition. 
Best way to get transition started is with a defensive play. And Jessica Carter spinning and shooting and scored. And the Bulldogs back to a seven point lead. That bucket just a moment ago by Randall broke up at an 8 0 Mississippi State run. Nyan Taylor reaching in and a jump ball. The alternating possession will stay with UNO with 15 seconds on the shot clock. Nice job defensively that time by Maya Taylor. And you start to look at this season, you wonder what the limit is for Mississippi State. And you have to think sometimes that that answer is going to have a lot to do with Maya Taylor and how she can handle that point guard role. Bulldogs want to see her score a little bit more. She did that last time out, but you always see your player up top getting on the floor defensively. And there you see Madison Hayes, number 21, checking in for State. McDonald's All-American, the freshman out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And the three, two strong. Here comes State running. Oh, and UNO real active on the defensive end. There's Mia Deck reaching in, picking up the hand check. But talk about a player like Madison Hayes, one of three McDonald's All-Americans on the floor for Mississippi State. Rakia Jackson, well, Sydney Cooks is not on the floor right now, but three on the team. When you go back a couple of years ago, it never had the first one. Inside, Jemiah Morris putting it off the glass. Senior from San Bernardino, California. And a three, but a travel out of the corner and Mississippi State forces the turnover. So that defense Forcing some UNO turnovers here out of the gate. That's number five for the privateers. Here's Hayes out top. Over to Maya Taylor off the back iron. And Madison Hayes with the offensive rebound. Didn't go, but that was a nice look. All the product of good ball movement. Rakia Jackson sliding in and fouled, and we'll go to the free throw line. Excuse me. Good job athletically, Rakia Jackson. Yeah, Nikki McCray Pinson was talking about Madison Hayes the other day. You know, Rakia Jackson came in as a true freshman, a McDonald's All American, and had to play right out of the gate. But how great is it to have the ability to bring a player along like a Madison Hayes? Because you learn so much by just watching at this level. And Madison Hayes is going to be a special player. Well, and two, it gives you the ability to take somebody out of a game and talk about a situation. And if you have a little run, you're not forced to leave them out there. You can bring them out, talk about what happened, and really help the development. Rakia Jackson, one of two at the free throw line. D3 left wing, and the shot buried by Aaron Randall. And that's the first three of the game for UNO. Jackson splitting through, missed the shot, and there's Yamaya Morris to stick it back. Yeah, great job on the offside that time, getting the rebound. Not bring it down, just putting it right back up. It's a lot of control. And standing on the baseline is Delgado, and State will play it. And now Leah Matharu will check in for the Bulldogs. Sophomore from Washington, D.C. Well, Matharu had some moments last year. Had a career high 24 against Ole Miss last season. Matharu on the bottom of your screen. Katarian Thompson on the left wing. And here is Thompson. 
Out top, Madison Hayes off the back iron. Partially blocked. Yamaya Morris got a hand on it. Here comes Hayes driving up. Into the corner, Thompson for three, got it. You know, it all, Thompson. And it all starts with Hayes and her ability to handle the basketball. Didn't get selfish that time, Bart. Kept her eyes up, found the open teammate, and the Bulldogs moved the basketball. Thompson, the graduate transfer from Bowling Green, knocking down the three, and now a foul on the loose ball. State leading by 12. They're going to get Madison Hayes with the foul. Terry and Thompson. Had a career high 32 points last season. And a win against Kent State. Was second on the team in scoring for Bowling Green last year. She had 116 threes last year. Led Bowling Green in that three department. Now an offensive foul, a moving screen, and State will play it. And you feel like that's a really important skill set to add to this Mississippi State team. You've got a lot of players who can put it on the floor, get to the goal. You think of Mataro, Mingo Young. They're capable three-point shooters, but now and then, you need that player to just spot up, lock in, and knock down some threes. Madison Hayes, nice drive to the bucket, lays it in. And the first points for the freshman from Chattanooga. And now under a minute to go in the first quarter. Ball knocked free. Here comes Matharu. Mingo Young, 15-footer, right from the free throw line. She wanted a foul, but the Bulldogs pushed the lead to 16. It looked like she never had a great handle on it, but got it to go. About a seven-second differential on the shot clock and a game clock. Out right side. And now the Bulldogs have 13 seconds to play with it. Mingo Young. Out to Matharu. 18-footer. Back iron no good. But the Bulldogs, a 16-point lead after one against UNO. So it's been all Mississippi State so far as the sixth-ranked Bulldogs off to a great offensive start. Working it around. Get to Madison Hayes, the freshman. Bulldogs up by 16. Back at Starkville, 25-9. Mississippi State out of the gate, the 16-point lead. Well, according to the SEC coaches, the Bulldogs picked to finish number five in the SEC this year. South Carolina, number one. Huh. Kentucky, A&M, Arkansas. The media picked state number two, but the coaches at number five. Tennessee, LSU, Alabama should be better this year. A little surprising to see the coaches putting Mississippi State that low. There's a lot of talent on this basketball team. Kind of wonder if that's wishful thinking. Here's Thompson. UNO showing some trapping zone, forcing the turnover. Duck and tail. Force that loose ball. Drive too strong, but free throws coming for UNO. Yamaya Morris gets charged with a foul. And the Privateers will be at the free throw line. 
Just about all these guards from UNO, when they go to their right, they're going to put it on the floor and attack. Force them to go to their left, they're going to take a step back. It's a very right-handed oriented team. John Jay Thomas now goes to the free throw line. She was four of six at the free throw line of first game. And that was a 67-64 win over Texas State. Mafaru stepping through and laying it off the glass. Aliyah Mafaru. Yeah, Mafaru has the potential to be a really special player. Has all sorts of offensive talent, the ability to put it on the floor, get space, back it up, knock down a three-pointer. She is dangerous with the basketball in her hands. Nice cut to the bucket. Duncan Tell got free. Jada Duncan Tell laying it off the glass. The senior from Natchitoches, Louisiana. You know, had that big game out last time with 28. Nice ball movement by State. Hayes had it blocked. Well, everything great about that offensive possession except the finish. Nice job of defense by the Privateers. Off right side and a three ball by Aaron Randall. And now a timeout taken by Mississippi State with 8.22 to go in the second quarter. So Mississippi State led by 16 after one. But UNO. Outscored the Bulldogs seven to two here in the second quarter. Nikki McCray Pinson talking to her team. Really didn't like the way the team rotated out. Back at Starkville, 8.17 to go in the second quarter. Bulldogs work the perimeter. And the three ball rattles out for Rakia Jackson. UNO with a little spurt here to start the second quarter. Got a nice look, just couldn't knock it down. Zoe Cooper, freshman from Birmingham, has a nice look. And nobody picked up Jemiah Mingo Young. Mingo Young, the easy bucket going down the left side. That's her sixth point, three of four shooting from the field. 22 of Mississippi State's 29 points have come in the paint. Have struggled from deep today, just one of five, but really good around the basket. And the shot strong from Cooper. Inside Carter, Jessica Carter couldn't get the roll, but she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. Well, it's almost like a completely different look for State today. 29 of their 78 shots they took in the Sunday game came beyond the three-point line. They are really working hard to get it down into the low post. Carter was just two of four at the free throw line in the first game. Such a key for her game is to be able to get to the free throw line and convert. Just 52% as a freshman, but came back as a sophomore and knocked down 71%. That's a player you want to get to the free throw line, and she can be really dangerous if she can keep her percentage up or in the 70s. Too strong. There's Carter with a defensive rebound. And a block in the backcourt. Duncan Tell. Uh, just backing up, never established defensive position. Bulldogs got into her, got the foul call. And... Up 15 with the basketball. 
Now trapping out of that zone. Maya Taylor out to Rakia Jackson. She'll pull the trigger off the back iron. Carter got the rebound and threw it away. And now a loose ball foul is going to go against State. Jemaya Bingo Young reaching in. Carter did a good job of coming up with a loose ball, the offensive rebound, and try to fire it out top, threw it away. Has not been as clean of a second quarter as it was the first. Bulldogs scored a quarter in the first quarter. Led 25 to nine after one. Now loose ball and an easy layup for UNO. Came right to Aaron Randall who laid it in. And the defense got out of rotation that time. Gave up the open look from three and even though it didn't go, never got set back defensively in system. seeing from UNO, just that scrappy defense just pestering Mississippi State. Offside rebound, Mingo Young got it, stuck it back and scored it. Now Mingo Young, not tall, but she is very strong and she can be really good when she gets to the backside block. Look at this, rebound kicks long, Mingo Young is there and then just powers it back in. Eight points for Jemiah Mingo Young. Hasn't been to the stripe in this game, makes that free throw good. She was five for five in the first game against Jackson State. She'll come out of the game. Terry and Thompson checks back in. And Thompson comes up with a rebound. And now three on the way from the left wing for Sydney Cooks. Well, how about that? Didn't love the spacing that time as the Bulldogs were in transition, but Cooks knocked it down anyway. Here come the Bulldogs running. Rakia Jackson. Nowhere to go. Work the perimeter. Now inside to Carter, so the Bulldogs go outside. Now they come back inside and a timeout taken by UNO. And that's where this team will get you. If you start coming outside to guard shooters, they've got that presence down in the low post. Jessica Carter with her ninth point and Mississippi State leads 39 to 18. Now good sequence there for Mississippi State. You see in transition, Able to exchange the basketball, get it to Cooks for the three that she knocked down. And here's what you love about Cooks. No heat check here, not forcing a three. Instead, drawing the defender, getting it inside to Carter, who won that one-on-one -on -one matchup underneath the goal. Man, that's the thing about Sydney Cooks. 6-4 forward. She'll step out there and take some shots. She hit two of five against Jackson State on Sunday. Well, nice cut to the bucket. Delgado may have got bailed out just a tad. She was all the way up under the goal. But she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. Delgado looking for her first points tonight. Gets it there. Scored just two points against Texas State. And she matches that with a trip to the free throw line here. Lead is 19 for Mississippi State. Nice interior feed, Cooks to Carter. And she lays it in, and Jessica Carter now in double figures with 11. Well, you got to be excited if you're Mississippi State about the way that Cooks is sharing the basketball. So many times you sit out a year as a transfer, you come in as a McDonald's All-American, you want to show everybody that you can score, but Cooks playing the complete game here tonight. And now the backcourt violation, unforced turnover for UNO. Go, go, go. 
21 point lead, matching the longest of the night. Here's Madison Hayes, drive to the bucket and foul. Quick first step from Madison Hayes. She'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. That's exactly right. Got the defender coming out on her and then just blew past and drew the harm at the end. So we'll get to the free throw line. Scored eight points in the game against Jackson State on Sunday. Was one of two at the free throw line in that game. And she makes one out of two here. Looking for the cut, ball knocked free. Here's Mingo Young. Stops, put it off the glass, and Jemiah Mingo Young's in double figures with 11 points. Again, just using that strength. Bulldogs did a good job that time defensively. You know, kept trying to go back door on them, but did a nice job of not biting on the cuts. Well, Delgado really wanted to pull the trigger, try to drive it in. Loose ball, got it back, stuck it off the glass. You, know, you see the quickness just had the bigger defender, so it was outmatched size-wise, but able to clean up the miss. Into Carter, spinning and shooting off the back iron. Right corner three, rattles out. Trey and Bruce trying to get that shot to go. Bulldogs couldn't claim the rebound. UNO will play it. Always interesting this time of year to see how rotations start to fill out for teams particularly in the first half. Bulldogs so far have played nine different players, at least four minutes or more here in this first quarter and a half. High off the glass, Yamaya Morris with the rebound. Partially blocked, Madison Hayes get a handle of it. Couldn't get it to go, but she'll go to the free throw line. It was right on the fingertips. She just couldn't grab she couldn't it. Secure it and go up with it strong. Penn State will be at the free throw line. Partially blocked out top by Duncan Tell. She never could grab it. And now she'll go to the free throw line for just a moment ago. She made one of two. Well, State was supposed to start their season against Maine, and then they had UConn in a tournament. Yamaya Morris with a put back off of his free throw. Tournament canceled up in Connecticut. State picked up Jackson State for a Sunday game. This was supposed to be the home opener tonight. Charlie, I think you're going to see that a lot in basketball this year. You're going to have to have teams on speed dial sometimes during the season, especially non-conference play. In fact, I saw Louisville's coach about a week ago put out on Twitter, we're looking for an opponent in two days. As long as it's within five hours, we'll get on the bus and come to you. We've seen in football, schools just learning to be flexible right now. And I think that's gonna be even more important in basketball. 
You know, the problem is you run through contact traces in a football team, and you can play with 20% of your roster out, 30% of your roster out. The basketball team can get depleted in a hurry. Matharu comes up with a loose ball. Now a steal by Maya Taylor. Bulldogs forcing turnovers. And now Rakia Jackson driving in and off the glass. Rakia Jackson. That's her fifth point, second field goal. Oh, she is so good attacking from the wing. And nice job by the Bulldog guards getting tough defensively to give her that chance. And that will be a foul on Mississippi State. Madison Hayes picks up the foul. Pushing the open floor. You see Matharo just take the easy handoff, put it in, then Mingo Young, excuse me, Maya Taylor rather, forced a loose ball. And Rakia Jackson took advantage of. Well, Brianna Ellis for New Orleans just lost the handle of it. Made it easy for Matharu. And now Ellis at the free throw line, shooting two. Well, you start talking about contact tracing and we think about Nikki McRae Pinson, first year back in the SEC as a head coach. Not only are you dealing with COVID-19 with your team, I mean, this Humphrey Coliseum is one of the more intimidating places in women's basketball. And in the state of Mississippi, you've got 25% capacity. So you don't have that home court advantage. I mean, sometimes this place gets to shake it. It gets so loud. Atharu missed it. Rakia Jackson sticks it back and scores it. Another offensive rebound. And that's the 14th second chance point for State here in the first half. You know, such a key for Mississippi State, those offensive rebounds. And Rakia Jackson stepping through, and an offensive foul is called on Jackson. A pretty good job by John Day Thomas getting back, kind of guessed right. She moved over to her right, stepped right in the way. Well, you can almost see that one coming when Jackson put it on the floor. Approaching a minute to go in the first half. And a block is caught after the ball was stripped free. Let's see, Matharu thought she was in pretty good position. Maybe just a little late sliding over. Maya Taylor reaching in, knocking the ball free. And the free throw too strong for Thomas. And Thomas makes one of two. Inside of a minute to go here in the first half. Aaron pass, here come the privateers. Try to whip it to the corner. Nobody was there. Kateri and Thompson up to Matharu. Trying to free herself, put it high off the glass. Aliyah Matharu, only 5'7", but working that post. I tell you, Matharu is good as any player in the country and getting herself in spots that look impossible then finding a way to score it. Maya Taylor kept it away from the defender and lays it in. That yeah, defender just blows by. Taylor gets the open look. That's 32 second quarter points for State. Well, if you look back, Bulldogs really started slow in this second quarter. Yeah, used a timeout just 90 seconds into the quarter, but have turned things around. Nice driving layup coming down the right side of the lane. Thomas got the bucket, and we played one half of basketball at Humphrey Coliseum. Mississippi State led by 16 after one. 
They lead by 29 at the half, 57 to 28. Defense leading to offense. The Bulldogs working it inside, working it outside. It's a couple of players in double figures with Mingo Young and Jessica Carter, 11 each at the half. And it's been all Mississippi State so far here in Starkville. Mississippi State leading UNO 57 to 28 at the half. Well, Mississippi State opened the 2020 season with an 88 to 58 win over Jackson State, giving coach Nikki McCray Pinson her first win as the head coach at Mississippi State. Let's take a look back at her first win and the special moment in the locker room following the game. It's been 266 days since this team has taken the court, but here we are, and from a new era of leadership with this program. The official puts the ball in the air, and the era of Nikki McRae Pinson is underway here in Starkville. Driving into the basket, putting it up and having it swatted by Rakia Jackson on the wing. Firing up the three is Jackson, and her 21-footer goes. And the Bulldogs have their first points of the season tonight. Taylor takes it to the basket. She goes over the cylinder, but a stick back by Cooks. Wide open is Taylor. She'll fire a three for the left side and buried it again. Maya Taylor with back-to-back -back threes. Timeout, Jackson State. Jackson clears the board, goes down the floor, scores, and she's fouled. Oh, my goodness, Rakia Jackson. The right lane line, and it's going to be blocked by Carter and into the hands of Maya Taylor. Taylor's going to outlet it to Matharu, running one-on-one, -on -one, puts it up, good, she's fouled. Maya Taylor gets rid of it. Madison Hayes wide open, left corner, three on the way, yes. Madison Hayes hits the three, and the Mississippi State bench runs up and down celebrating. by 30 in Nikki McRae Pinson's debut here in Starkville, Mississippi. Thank you, guys. I love you, Mom. American woman, head coach here at Mississippi State, that just says so much about you. And we all look up to you as a mother, as a mentor, everything, and just for what you stand for. Um, we're just ready to um, just start this journey with you. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so here's your Coach Nikki is very competitive. Um, everything we do, she make it a competition between um, whether we're competing against ourselves or against my teammates or the practice guys. And she's just very just passionate about what she does. Her and her staff really wants us to be better. I just love the genuineness that they bring to the team. They genuinely want us to be better and they are focusing on our individual's game and putting it together as a team. So I just feel like we're gonna be really good and playing at a fast pace, something that we love to do and transition game. So I feel like it's gonna be really fun here this year. Um, she's super loving, super caring, the staff. Everybody on the staff is different in their own way, but it all comes together and it just, it makes it easier for us to just get along on the court. It just, I don't know, just being able to go to different people about different things and just getting a different perspective on it. She's just a player's coach, um, somebody that you can go to if you need anything, somebody that you can watch film with, somebody that you can laugh with, joke with, dance with. She loves dancing, so just all around, she's just a great coach, just a great person, great mentor, and um, her history and everything that she's done just backs up who she is as a person and the things that she's done.
57-28, Mississippi State with the lead at the halftime. Bulldogs had that 25-9 lead after the first quarter, outscored the Privateers 32-19 in the second. And boy, we're a little slow getting things going, but Jemiah Mingo Young turned it up for the Bulldogs. Logs were cold from outside, but Mingo Young able to put it on the floor and score from the free throw line after getting the put back and then showing the handiwork on the defensive end, going coast to coast. Again, using her strength, taking on the defender one-on-one -on -one and putting it in. Well, Bulldogs using that inside out game, Charlie. Talk about Mingo Young, but Jessica Carter as well. Full State with that inside outside presence. Nice feed from Sydney Cooks into Jessica Carter. Jemiah Mingo Young and Carter both on 11 points in the first half. They both shot it well. And boy, Mississippi State really looks strong in that first half. Out rebounding UNO 25 to 9. We talked about that decisive height advantage for State in this game tonight. Bulldogs had a slow start to that second quarter, but outscored UNO 32 to 19 in the second frame and the 57 to 28 at the half over the privateers. All right, Charlie, if you're Nikki McCray Pinson, what are you talking about in the locker room when you get ready to come out for this third quarter? Well, it's going to be interesting because Mississippi State used their size at 42 points in the paint. If you look at free throws and points in the paint, that's all but eight of the Bulldogs points. And you've got that size advantage in the ball game tonight, but you're not going to have that all year long. And will be interesting to see if the Bulldogs now with the game in hand, start to see if they can step away from the basket and try to take some shots from the perimeter. Underway in the second half here in Starkville. Sixth ranked Mississippi State with a big lead and the drive and a foul. John J. Thomas. Well, Jackson looked like she had help there all the way because didn't stop baseline. Carter came and helped but was a little bit late, committed the foul. And Thomas will go to the free throw line, shoot two shots. She was four for six at the free throw line in the first half. We see Keyshawn Davenport, year 10 at UNO. Well, Privateers return just five of 13 letter winners from last year. Yeah, the only bright spot, all five of them have experience starting, but 11 newcomers on that roster. Out running. Duncan Tell with the left hand. Off the glass. My Taylor was there. Didn't want to commit the foul, and Duncan Tell, nice job converting. Take a look at this play. Jada Duncan Tell had that great game the first time out against Texas State. Actually, didn't go with the left hand. Went up with the right. Scored 28 against. Texas State back on Saturday. Well, UNO last year went 17 and 12, 13 and 7 in conference play. Bulldogs work it to Sydney Cooks. UNO was going to be the fifth seed in the conference tournament, which, as we mentioned, didn't get played, but had been picked by the coaches to finish eighth in the league, so really outperformed expectations a year ago. Cooks again into Carter. Spinning shot, counted, she's fouled. Boy, how do you want to get popular with your teammates? Give them the basketball in a position to score. Sydney Cooks has been doing that all night long. She's got size, she's got length. She can see where she's throwing it. Gets over the hands of the defender, puts it right to Carter, who finishes. 13 points for Jessica Carter. She goes to the free throw line where she's three of four tonight. I'm just so impressed by the ability of Cooks and her willingness to share the basketball. Three assists. 
And Carter misses the free throw. State 7 of 12 at the free throw line as a team. The lead is 30. Driving down the right side, State poked it out. So many different options for Mississippi State offensively. But boy, they've got some size to play inside out, play high low. Madison Hayes picks up the foul. Reach in on Madison Hayes, and that's her fourth foul. That's one of the challenges a lot of times for young players is learning to defend at this level with the effort the coaches want, but staying under control, not committing fouls. The jumper rims out. Treya Bruce left it off the left iron. Carter, one-on-one -on -one in the lane. She puts it off the left iron. Two minutes deep in the second half, State leading by 30. Been all Mississippi State so far in this one. Bulldogs led 25 to 9 at the end of the first quarter. Duckett Tell lost her dribble, able to come out of there with it. Here's Bruce. Stops and pops and got it as the shot clock hit all zeros. Treya Bruce gets her first points of the night. Now Thompson. Followed by Cooks, wouldn't go. Aaron Randall pulls down the rebound for UNO. Bruce again, little jumper off left side. A couple of 15 footers, this time from the left wing. Trey and Bruce back to back buckets. Mingo Young stepped back and got it. Jemaya Mingo Young, her first points in the second half. That's 13. We saw flashes a year ago of Mingo Young's ability to be a physical presence at the guard position, but really seeing it tonight. Jemaya Mingo Young, the sophomore from Bogalusa, Louisiana. Just a step back at Bruce right on her. Rakia Jackson down the left side of the lane, left it short with the left hand, but the stick back by Carter. That's 15 for Jessica Carter. Eighth rebound of the ninth for Carter as well. She's been working hard on the glass, and look, that's the key to scoring as a post player. You gotta collect some rebounds and manufacture some of your own points. State in the man-to-man, -man, driving, but an offensive foul on Aaron Randall. Curled across to her right, stayed there standing, and forcing another turnover. Maya Taylor rotating over in that man-to-man. -man. Help side defense, such a big key on the dribble drive. Uh, that's a player in Taylor who's experienced in playing in help and getting in good position. Into the corner to Matharu. State working against this zone. Top of the key, Maya Taylor left it short. And now foul on the rebound on Domingo Young. Yeah, just out of position, tried to come around UNO player. Boy, that defensive possession that you saw right there out of UNO. It's very frustrating. You saw the frustration on Jemiah Mingo Young. But when you have a lot of quickness and you're running that 2-3 zone, you can trap, you get out of it. You can really frustrate teams. The state didn't look very comfortable that trip. And now a foul. 
And UNO will go back to the free throw line. Well, a little bit different look for Mississippi State as well without Cooks in the ball game. Not as big a lineup as they were playing a minute ago. And so you take away a little bit of that high-low opportunity. And now Zoe Cooper at the free throw line. Gets the first. This is our first trip to the line tonight. Freshman from Birmingham did not shoot a free throw in her first games. This is her first trip to the line of her collegiate career. She makes them both. Into Carter in heavy traffic, Jessica Carter. Nice feed from Matharu. And that's the thing about Carter. She has the footwork. That's where she's gotten better in her time here in Stark. Well, the footwork now in her junior season kind of freed herself. Loose on the floor in the jump ball. Possession arrow belongs to Mississippi State. And that'll take us to a timeout. So 4.45 to go in the third quarter. Mississippi State with a 30-point lead. Mississippi State with a 30-point lead over UNO. And so much of the success has been on the offensive side. The offensive rebounding has been a big key for State tonight, Charlie. Those second chance points. And you see it's not just the bigs able to play around the basket. Mingo Young getting down there. Using her strength. You see Sydney Cooks. Boy, she has really played a complete game today. Sharing the basketball, getting on the glass. And there we see Jessica Carter. You talk about how a player can elevate their game. She had that big improvement from freshman to sophomore year. How's she going to do it again? Well, getting on the glass, getting those putbacks. Second chance points big for Mississippi State tonight. Yeah, 16 second chance points. Travel in the corner. 12 offensive rebounds for State. UNO with just three and only two second chance points for the Privateers. Good defense by State. Thomas trying to go right side. Maya Taylor right there to knock it out of court. A quick hands by Taylor just knocking that one away. And on the inbound, shot missed. And there's Jessica Carter with a rebound. It's her ninth rebound to go along with her 17 points. Spinning shot. And Carter will go back to the free throw line and shoot two. Saw Cooper a little frustrated about the foul call. Not much she can do right there. Just completely in a size mismatch with Carter. And now Jessica Carter to the free throw line. She's three of five at the stripe tonight. And now the largest lead of the night for State at 32. And Carter will come out of the basketball game. Drive to the bucket. And a foul. And Mary Delgado will go to the free throw line and shoot two. Kia Jackson going to be call for the foul. <laughs> Not a lot hmm. there. Huh. Not a lot there, and the reaction showed you just that. Yeah, a little appropriate. Yeah, 
Here's Rakia Jackson back to Mingo Young. Kind of lob it inside. Boy, and Rakia Jackson. That old adage, you have to have your feet set. Not with her. <laughs> no. Some players you make exceptions. Jackson, one of those. See in the bottom of your picture there how those chairs are spread out. Not the old bench look that we're used to. Off the front iron, the shot missed by Mia Deck. Maya Taylor whips it to the corner. Out to Rakia Jackson for three. Rakia Jackson with her first three of the night. That's 12 points for Rakia Jackson. All right, let's talk about the difference there. We were commenting a moment ago about you don't worry about her feet getting set. Well, you do when she's behind the three-point line. And that time, able to get her feet set, square her shoulders, and knock down the open look. And now the Bulldogs out and running when Jackson tried a behind-the-pack dribble. Didn't realize she had a defender on her hip. Into the corner, Mingo Young drives baseline and lays it in. Well, defense just out of position that time, and as the defender came, Mingo Young just put it on the floor, drove right past her. Well, a dominant performance by Mississippi State tonight. Thomas out top. Take it straight away, leave it long. The State looking to run now. Into Yamaya Morris, nice feed from Mingo Young. Oh, that was a beautiful pass by Mingo Young, and then a nice job using the hands that time by Morris. Good soft hands to take that pass. Bulldogs on a 13-0 run. And then pushed the lead to 41. Look at that pass. And the big mismatch down low. And now Thomas driving in and an offensive foul. There's Mingo Young again, this time taking a charge. Yamaya Morris and Jemaya Mingo Young going to come out of the game. Charlotte Cole is going to check in, the freshman from Germany. Inside, laying it in is Rakia Jackson, and that's 14 for Rakia. And that's about as easy a two points as Rakia will get. Thomas just inside the free throw line, and that stops the 15-0 Bulldog run. Thomas with her ninth point. Now an offensive foul down low. That may have been Cole trying to set up for position down low. There you see Charlotte Cole, freshman from Germany. And she's using her hands a little bit, trying to create some space that time. Defender went to the ground. Cole gets called for the foul. Out to the right wing, the three is off the back iron. And Thompson buries the three. Katarian Thompson with her second three of the night. That's her sixth point. And Charlie, here's the thing. UNO has only attempted 37 shots. That's 38 right there. And the make off the right wing by duck and tail at the end, but UNO's attempted 38 shots. Mississippi State's made 35. So the Bulldogs have as many makes almost as UNO's taken. It's been all Mississippi State so far. Katarian Thompson out of the corner, and the Bulldogs lead 83 to 42. Well, back in Starkville, 83-42. It's been all Mississippi State tonight in Starkville.
as we head to the fourth quarter. But Rakia Jackson has had a solid night tonight. Preseason All-SEC, 14 points on 6 of 13 shooting. And Charlie, she's done it from everywhere. The drive from the outside. Rakia Jackson poised to have a breakout sophomore season. So impressive as a freshman a year ago. And the thing you really like, her scoring average in league play, actually about two points higher per ball game than overall. That's a player who stepped up her game against the best competition. Underway in the fourth quarter. State leading by 41. And Matharu just couldn't handle it on the baseline. Well, State going to take the road, have its first road trip of the year on Saturday at South Florida. So they'll head down to Tampa. And then it's three in a row at home in the month of December before they jump into conference play. Troy, Southern, and then Central Arkansas. Not New Year's Eve opener in league play. Yeah, playing in December in SEC play this year. State starts league play at Georgia. Sydney Cooks left it off the front iron. Matharu trying to chase down the loose ball. And UNO comes up with it. Jump ball will belong to Mississippi State. Well, Bart, this is our first look at Coach Nikki McRae Pinson. Kind of wondered how the style of play would be, but what you've seen is a team that's given a lot of different looks out there, particularly on the offensive end. And now three seconds in the lane, and Charlotte Cole, the guilty party there. Yeah, State, you could tell they've had a lot of emphasis to go inside early. You know, at times they come up with a steal and take their time. Now kind of pressing the action here in the second half. There's Bruce with a three out of the corner. Trey and Bruce for UNO. Yeah, this is the time to work on things. Being able to get a lot of players in and out, able to talk with them between their turns in the ball game. You know, we talked about Coach McRae Pinson, but how valuable is it for her? She's got Keith Freeman, her associate head coach, 24 years as a head coach in his own right, winning as coach Valparaiso's ever had. You know, we'll talk about a new staff to Mississippi State, but a lot of continu continuity within the staff, all having coached together before. Cooks passed up the three, got it to Maya Taylor. That extra pass, Taylor had plenty of time out of the corner. And the first three of the night for Maya Taylor, that's her fifth point. Uh, they wanted her to shoot more, and you can see why. You know, it's amazing when you look at successful coaches around the country in the men's and the women's game. And how many times do you see that continuity on staffs? The, the long time assistance, the trust factor. But it goes both ways. And a lot of times as a head coach, sometimes you need somebody in that staff meeting to say, hey, here's what we really, here's what we need to do. I mean, you have to have that ability to bounce things off of. And, oh, it's so hugely important for a staff. And, you start to think about all the things you need. You need somebody that you can trust evaluating talent. Boy, there's some talent. <laughs> you can evaluate that one all right. Yeah, when you're 6'4 and running the floor that well, that's hard to defend. Jessica Carter coming down the middle of the lane. That's 21 for Carter. Jim, I think you make a great point, though, Bart. Sometimes you've got to have those people who've got the experience and the confidence to, to disagree with you to give you an angle you haven't considered. 
Well, nice job by Duncan Tell. Talked about Duncan Tell having those 28 points in her first game against Texas State. She has nine here tonight. Out of the corner, Madison Hayes. Three ball wouldn't go, but there's Rakia Jackson with a follow. That's 16 for Rakia Jackson. Yeah, Bulldogs just continuing to get on the offensive glass. 14 offensive rebounds. In fact, Bulldogs have as many offensive rebounds as UNO has rebounds total. Nice move to the bucket. Andre Thomas laying it in with the right hand. That's her 11th point. Rakia Jackson. They rushed that one just a tad. Four minutes deep in the fourth quarter. It's been all Mississippi State. Work the perimeter and too long and Bruce going to climb the back for the loose ball foul. State will play at the length of the floor. I mean, you look at this entire tenure so far for Nikki McRae Pinson. She came in during the middle of the pandemic. And what's the first thing she has to do? Probably her, her biggest recruiting job was recruiting players to stay, recruiting signees to come to school. And you have to do so much via Zoom. You see that drive to the bucket, the lay in, and that's one of the players right there that she had to recruit hard, and that was Madison Hayes. Yeah, timely thought right there. And you see why she wanted to recruit Madison Hayes so hard, the McDonald's All-American. Just has great ball skills. Has size, has athleticism. This is a a player in a lot of years. You'd have to be starting right out of the gate. Bulldogs blessed with talent this year and will have a chance just to bring her along, but she's gonna be so important to the success of this team. And yeah, looking back when Nikki McCray Pinson got here, she was talking about how that she just had to build relationships with players, but had to do it via Zoom, and calling players and talking every day, just trying to establish trust with herself and this group of players. And let's be honest, Charlie, in today's world of college sports, especially in college basketball, the transfer portal is so easy to jump in. Sometimes it's the easy thing to do for players, but well, Nikki McCray, Trying to build that trust with his team. And that's the key word really is trust. It is sometimes really difficult to accept the word of a, a new coach coming in. But the one thing that Coach McCray Pinson has though is she's got a lot of accolades. She's been there as a player. She understands losing some tough games, understands winning. Rakia Jackson from the left wing. And Jessica Carter oh, stepping boy. back, laying it in. That's 23 for Carter. Just love the way that Carter has worked hard around the goal tonight. She's made herself available for passes. Kind of an interesting setup, too, right now with Morris and Carter in the ball game together. Let's Carter slide out to that four, kind of move up to the top of the key. Spinning shot by Jemaya Morris. Couldn't go, but there's Jemaya Mingo Young the second time tonight. She has the end one. So that'll send us to break. Jemaya Mingo Young will be at the free throw line when we come back. It's been all Mississippi State tonight. Jemaya Morris with a miss. Mingo Young with a put back. That's 17 for her and the Bulldogs leading 97 to 51.
back in Starville. Jemiah Mingo Young at the free throw line, finishing up that three point play. That's 18 points for Jemiah Mingo Young. And the Bulldogs lead 98 to 51. A new high for Jemiah Mingo Young. Her previous career high was 14. He, she had uh, 14 against South Carolina last year. Duncan Tell picks up the foul. State will play it. Boy, those are frustrating. Pick up the foul lying on the ground. Inside Yamaya Morris and a foul on the floor. And that's the fifth foul on UNO. So State will be at the free throw line shooting two shots. Now UNO is a team. They have been so good defensively in the past several years under Keyshawn Davenport. They have not allowed 100 points since January of 2018. So it's been three years since they gave up 100 points, and that was against Lamar. That's their Southland Conference rival. 100 to 77, that was back at 18. But right now on the brink of giving up 100. And Yamaya Morris makes it an even 100. Boy, he's so impressed by Mingo Young's performance tonight. 18 points, that's one thing. But how about eight rebounds from the guard position? Your guards can get down and get on the glass like that. Really says a lot about the way this team values the basketball. State has four players in double figures. And three out of the corner from Bruce is too strong. You know, Yamaya Morris off the bench. Those couple free throws right there. She has 10 points. There's Yamaya Morris right on cue, laying it in. That's her fifth field goal. 12 points for Yamaya Morris. And a great entry pass again, getting the ball to Morris in a position to score. Here's Deck out top over right side to Deionis. Right wing three, Mia Deck off the back iron. Well, Madison Hayes has been hampered with foul trouble all night tonight. Another high-low feed to Morris. Carter to Morris. What a great feed from Jessica Carter, who now has a double-double. Picked up her 10th rebound on that last defensive trip. 23 points and 10 rebounds, and that was her third assist of the night. So we bragged on the guards for rebounding. How about we brag on the bigs for sharing the basketball? Three assists for Carter, four for Cooks. Step back jumper. And another rebound for Yamaya Morris. That's her sixth rebound to go along with her 14 points. And now a timeout taken by Mississippi State. We have a so this is a media timeout, so we'll step away. 157 to go in the fourth quarter. Bulldogs well on their way to win number two of the season. Under two to go here in Starville on this Wednesday night. Been all Mississippi State Bulldogs outscored UNO 25 to 9 in the first quarter. They had handily at the half 57 to 28. Inside Yamaya Moore, spinning shot, rattles out.
It's interesting. Kind of expected Mississippi State to back it out a little bit, but here in the fourth quarter, they have continued to deliver the basketball right around the rim. Morris has been the beneficiary here in the fourth. Out of the corner, and the three won't go. And now under a minute to go. Aliyah Matharu down the left side, puts it off the glass and scores it. Eighth point for Aliyah Matharu. And the 72nd point in the paint for Mississippi State. Wow. 72 to 12 points in the paint. There's a stat for you. Partially blocked by Matharu. Shot clock is off. State does not have to do anything with it. Matharu will dribble it to the front court. And Nikki McCray Pinson is going to pick up number, win number two of her season in her Bulldog career. And the dogs will go on the road to South Florida on Saturday. State looked every bit a top 10 team tonight and went it 106 to 51 over UNO. Well, they had the size advantage and they took advantage of it. They pounded the ball in the paint. They got on the glass and dominated the boards. Really good performance by Mississippi State, top to bottom. So for Charlie Winfield, I'm Bart Gregory saying so long from Starkville where Mississippi State wins 106 to 51. To watch this entire game on replay as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks, log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.